Okay, go ahead. All right, you guys, please come in, look at the board. Take a sheet of paper. Please sit down quietly and work until the rest of the class is ready. You guys about done with that? Yes. Okay, so I know that Mrs. McKibben told me that you guys worked on theme before, but theme is a really hard topic to um, master. So we're going to get back at that. So if some of this stuff seems familiar, then good. That means you absorbed some of it from before. And if it all seems like I don't know what the heck this is, then this is why we're covering it. So good news for you. Okay, so first I have to tell you why we are studying this. Can anyone tell me what they think would be the reason to study theme? Anyone? Guys? Don't be shy. What do you think? Theme. Because it is the essential idea of the story. Okay, don't use the part <laughs> as a reference. Um, I think it helps you understand like the book that you're reading. Yeah, okay, so we're learning about this because it does help us understand. Artists and authors, they use theme for a purpose. Everything they do is for a reason, and it's our job to find that reason as we refer to our text. Okay, so today we're going to be working on theme. I heard you guys had a little trouble um, figuring out the difference between theme and topic, so we're going to focus on that. So by the end of this time, you guys will be able to um, pick out a theme from a text, you guys will be able to tell the difference between theme and topic, and you will be able to create your own theme from a topic given to you guys. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, take your bell ringers, and we're going to check those out, check the answers. Oh, this is the bell. Oh yeah, that's the bell ringers. I feel like it's still on. Okay, so your bell ringers. Uh, can you just read to me, Abby, what the first line says? Trust. Trust. Okay. Is that a little t for topic or a big t for theme? I think it's a little t for topic. Little t topic. Did you have that too? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you guys would be right. We'll only go through a few of these, but what's the second one, Alex? Uh, courage can be found in even the most unlikely individuals. Okay. Big T or little T? What do you think? <coughs> Big T. Big T. Theme. And do we know why that's a theme as opposed to the first one? Okay. That's alright. That's why we're doing this. So, let's talk about this for a second. That brings us to the point up here. So, what Abby said was a little tea topic because it's just a subject, right? You can find it in the work, but it's just the subject that's being talked about. As 
as opposed to the central central idea. So this um, the little t topic. The little t topic says what? What's in the book? Whereas the um, <laughs> whereas the theme says why. So a topic could be family, but the theme could be why is family important. So then the theme you would turn that into say. Family is important because family are the ones who always have your back in certain situations. So that would be the theme of a book. There's also a lot of themes, and they're not directly stated, as opposed to the topic, which can be directly stated. Say we read a book on bullying. Well, it might say that the character was bullied a lot, but it's not going to say bullying results in perseverance from the people being bullied and also results in punishment of the bullier. So that would be a theme, which the author would then want you to get at. Okay, so you see how specific that is, and then how general a topic is. Like, courage is very general, but um, courage is important because it's shown in the most unlikely of people is specific, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of an activity. So I want you guys to take out a sheet of paper if you have one. Yeah, you can use that paper too. You can just use the back of your bell ringer. So I'm just going to pick a general movie. Do you guys know Finding Nemo? Yeah! Both of you have seen Finding Nemo. That's excellent. Finding Nemo. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is a little trick I learned to figure out theme versus topic. Because it's a little tricky, right? Do you guys kind of get it so far? Okay, but it, I mean it's a little bit tricky because family can seem like a theme, but it's just a topic. So we'll figure out that. We'll use family as our topic for finding Nemo. So what I want you guys to do is start with a topic. So, Abby, you can use family, and Aubrey, how about you can use um, bravery, maybe, in Finding Nemo. Okay, so <coughs> let me use, let me use individuality for Finding Nemo. Okay, so what you guys are going to do is write a sentence at the top and say, the author believes that individuality, or whatever your topic is, is important because, and then you're, explain, you're going to explain why in Finding Nemo that's an important topic. Okay? Mm -hmm. I think you guys can do that. It can be really brief, too. It doesn't have to be that long. Seem to be doing it. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. It's still going. Okay. You guys done with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, look what you're gonna do. I said I used family too because that's just it was just in my mind. So, <laughs> the author believes that family is important because they have your back. Now what we're going to do is, um, all cell phones off, please. Thank you. It's all right. Sorry. But then, like, I have a cell phone device as well, but it doesn't go off in class. Okay, so I'm going to cross out. The author believes that. And then what are we left with? Aubrey, do you want to read that? Family is important because they have your back. 
Okay, so that's your theme. We started off with a topic, family, and then the theme is not what the author wants us to believe, but what he wants, oh, I said that wrong. It's not what the author believes it to be, but what he wants you guys to believe. So as we can see, this is a very subjective matter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that means that it can change from perspective per to perspective, say. So like, Aubrey might think family is important because they have your back, but Abby might think something different about the theme. So she might see family as a topic in the story, but then come out with a completely different theme. So she can think that family is important because they will do whatever it takes to stay together. They will do whatever it takes to stay together. That's really, really good. Okay. So now what you guys are going to do is crumble up your piece of paper and toss them across to each other. <laughs> Boom. Yep, that's fun. Like that. Okay. And then I want you guys to open them up and create your own version of the theme. So take the same topic, and we have Finding Evil in Mind, and think of what that topic means to you in terms of theme. So create a theme out of that topic, in your own perspective. No, you don't have to, no. Because we've learned that is what you believe, not what the author believes. Although that is important. You guys want to read what you have now? Your new theme out of your topic? Sure. I wrote, bravery is important because it challenges you to step outside your comfort zone. Okay, what did Aubrey write the first time? Um, she wrote, do I not say the author believes? No, you go. So bravery is important because you may find yourself on your own. You may find yourself on your own. Okay. Ops? Uh, I wrote, family is important because they will always care for you. Mm -hmm. And Abby wrote, family is important because they will do whatever it takes to stay together. Okay, that's great. And then we can use references from the movie, actually. So we can see that both Abby's version of the theme is correct and Aubrey's version of the theme is correct because there are <laughs> references in the text to back it up. We see Nemo being cared by his family we also see them never leaving him and doing whatever it takes to get him back. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next uh, little activity we have here in your groups. So you guys can either choose to work as a group or you can choose to have your own individual. What do you want? Should we do individual so you can compare? Okay, so what we're going to do is I have these little stories for you guys. And I know that you guys are super smart 8th graders, but just for the sake of time and for this lesson, I'm going to give you guys some simple little stories here. So this one's called The New Girl, and this one's called Cassie and Her Cookies. So you are going to read these short little stories, and each of them have themes underlying in them. So I wrote some topics on the back of these papers. And what you guys are going to do is create the theme from the topic. If you come up with a completely different theme than I prompted you guys with, then that's totally fine to write down. But I just wanted to make sure we are on the same page, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of help in case we weren't all getting it. So let me know if you guys need help. You're going to get about five or six minutes to read this and then write your theme. And then we'll share at the end of class, okay?
let's remember our rules about theme. That it's a why versus the what of the topic we were given. And it's more specific versus the general topic that I gave you guys. I know that can be tough sometimes, so just let me know if you need help. Is this a class for one here? I'll be out here in 10 minutes. Okay, is this a class? Um, kind of. I mean, it's for a class. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you like an education? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, 10 minutes. Okay. Cool. Sorry, thank you. I'll go ahead and lock this though. Okay. Um, just make sure it's shut behind. Okay, thank you. Just ignore that, you guys, please. <laughs> How are you guys doing? All right. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right. So, this might be a little awkward, but I want you guys to come up here. This is just a little way of assessing you guys, make sure we're all on the same page. Um, usually this would be with your groups, but I think that you guys can be independent adults and do this on your own. So you're going to take turns coming up here briefly telling us about your story and then telling us the topic you were given and then the theme with which you created out of that. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. Ob's abs, who wants to go first? <laughs> so my story is called The New Girl and it was about two girls, one named Sarah and one named Lila. And Lila was a new girl in class and no one really liked her because she dressed differently and talked differently and was kind of weird. Um, and then Sarah and Lila got paired up to be in a project together and then Sarah was really nervous at first but then she found out that Lila and her are actually really similar and then they became friends. So um, <clears throat> the theme I put was that differences aren't always a bad thing, or don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. What were your themes out of that? Oh, those are the themes. Oh, those are your themes. Yes. What were the topics that you had? Oh, the topics was acceptance. Acceptance, okay. Can we elaborate on don't judge a book by its cover? Maybe a little bit? I'm <laughs> sorry. So we want to remember that a theme is very specific, so that's a really good yes. start. Don't judge a book by its cover, but let's hear why. So don't judge a book by its cover because you never know like what type of friendships are going to come up. Okay, see, that's a, that's a lot better. The first, Don't judge a book by its cover, that was really, really good start, but then we want to elaborate on it next time, okay? Right. But yes, you're totally getting it. Thank you, class. <laughs> okay, Ops. Alright, so my short little story was Cassie and her cookies. And so clearly it's about Cassie. She was off at camp and her mom sent her a bunch of cookies. Yum. And she had a bunch of friends. And then one of the girls asked if she could have a cookie. And she knew that if she gave one cookie away, she'd have to give a bunch of cookies. She'd only have two cookies for herself, so she decided not to share at all. But then she started to lose her friends because she didn't share. So the topics were don't be selfish and sharing is good. And so the theme I came up with is being selfish can lead to the loss of friends. Okay, that's good. That's really good. No, that's totally fine. <laughs> don't make a face. It is simple, but if that's what you got out of the text, then that's what you got out of the text. There's a reason behind your topic. So that's what makes it a theme. There's a why involved. That was really good, Alex. Thank you. Thank you, my eighth graders, for being so brave in sharing your thoughts. So that was your little form of assessment. I just kind of want a show of hands because I think that this still is a really tough topic. Topic. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was, that was pretty funny. Okay. So just 
give me a thumbs up or thumbs down or in between how you're feeling on theme. Do we feel like we know? Okay, Obs, what do you what do you feel like a little confused about? I don't know. I feel like feel like I'm just not a quick learner. That's totally fine. We'll keep working at it. Do you kind of, do we get the main idea? Do we think that in our book groups we'll be able to figure it out? Yeah. With our, okay, that's really good. So just as a ticket out the door, I want you guys to, you got to dismiss, but as a ticket out the door, I want you guys to just hand me your stories with your themes on the back so I can review them later. And yeah, thanks you guys. That was really good. Thanks for good job, being Wonder. such good students today. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh no.